What's up guys? It seems like I'm not just I'm just not meant to make a video today. It's been absolutely ridiculous the amount of crap that has gone wrong I'm trying to get out ride and make a video. I first get out, I go get gas. And this is like this is early in the, pretty early in the morning. Kinda early. Um, and you hear that sound, I start hearing that. I have no idea what that is. But it's only at certain RPMs and it sounds scary. So now I'm heading to the house. I just thought I was like, okay, I'm out. Let me get, you know, I'll just go ride, shoot a short video, go home, start hearing that. <clears throat> no bueno. So I pull over at my wife's work. I was actually just right next to her work. I was like, okay, I'll pull over there and we'll uh, we'll figure out what's going on. I'm gonna pull the side plastics off and one of the little rubber grommets breaks. Fantastic. The part where the, uh, the fairing bolt actually threads into. That decided to just go ahead and twist, tear the rubber and uh, be stuck basically. Fought with that for a little bit. Finally, get it off. And we'll finish the story right after the intro. Okay, yeah, I finally get that stupid thing off. I end up calling the local dealership. It's a special order part only, so they'd have to special order it, or I can order it and have it shipped to me. I'm like, okay, well, let me at least figure out what's going on with the uh, with this noise. Go in there, find the uh, bottom coolant reservoir bolt is missing. It's gone. So here's my reservoir just kind of flopping around. God, I don't like that sound. I don't know what it is. I don't like it. Grr! It's gonna drive me nuts. Call the dealership back. No, they can have that part. They have one of them. So I was like, okay, well, I'll come get it. Well, I noticed the reservoir is pretty much empty uh, while I'm at it. So I was like, okay, well, I'll pick up some more engine ice too, I guess. Pick up the engine ice, pick up the bolt, put everything back together. And I'm like, okay, so that should be it. It's just vibrating. You know, it's kind of metallic and the reservoir, of course, is plastic. Start riding, sure enough, uh, I mean, I get across the street to the gas station to get me a frosty beverage, because at that point I was hot, I mean, I'm working outside. Go get me a frosty beverage and, and start heading out to go record, figure out it's still doing it. So, frustrating as hell. Stop to go get lunch. You know, and I had actually recorded kind of the very intro um, on my way there. Get inside, sit down, and I realized my GoPro is actually recording like 1440 at 24 frames a second. I was actually shooting some lightning, which is still on my GoPro, and I knocked it down, of course, to 24 frames a second, so you could maybe see it, which I'll upload it in like the other, or uh, random shorts or whatever, I'll upload it in there if you guys like that sort of thing, you can check that out. I'm like, well, now I can scratch my whole intro, too. It's just been, a, I mean, I'm telling you, man, it's a, a rough motovlogging day. Of course, now, after a couple hours of working on the bike and trying to get everything sorted and getting parts and all that, it's now like 94 degrees with a heat index um, 100, 101. So it's hot. So that's kind of the reason I'm going home. Now, the topic I did want to cover, or I am going to cover, had a gentleman on Facebook who was uh, just sending me private messages. You know who you are. What's up, man? I, I don't know if people like are afraid they're going to be like um, in, uh, intrusive or bothering me. Dude, I love it when you all message me. I messaged him about a couple things he was considering, which is actually a 954 purchase or maybe a brand new R1. That may shock you guys. I actually suggested the R1. I, I would totally have one of those if I could. I, I love my Hondas. I love my 954s, but a 954 compared to like a, a 17, 18 R1. Not not even a competition. His idea was, you know, like actually doing uh, like first ride videos and, and stuff like that. I'll explain why I can't do them and why I wouldn't do them. I don't think that they're necessarily bad as long as you're only giving first impressions. To me, it's hard to get an accurate feel for a bike in a very limited amount of mileage and on a very short ride. Now, the other thing on that is in my area, dude, the dealerships around here don't let you test drive bikes. I don't think first rides and first impressions are necessarily a bad thing. The problem is, uh, especially on the big channels, let's say, you know, chase on two wieners and do it with dickhead, all those guys, dude, they have quite a following. Let's say one of them test rides a 954, for example. For whatever reason, that one is underperforming. You know, the engine's kind of half shot. You know, if there's issues with that bike, it's easy for them to go, oh no, this thing kind of sucks, man. Uh, I would not recommend buying one of these. And now you just turned off a group of people who otherwise may have bought this bike. On, on your opinion, everybody's entitled to their own wrong opinion. I, I wouldn't want to be the one that, let's say, rides a supermoto and it's just not for me. And I'm like, yeah, no, it's not. You know, this bike feels funny. The ergonomics are goofy, blah, blah, blah. I wouldn't want to be the one that all of a sudden, like, I say that and somebody takes my word for heart or to heart. And it's like, no, supermotors, man, they, they ride funny and they feel funny and blah, blah, blah. That's just the kind of thing where I'm looking at it going, that's just, it's not something I want to do. I don't want to turn somebody off on something that they may absolutely love 
because I didn't like it. All right, now, uh, with that over, I mean, uh, I'm just gonna say your name, Saxon. I think that's how you say it, Saxon. Yeah, I appreciate you messaging me. I love talking to you. Uh, thank you for the topic idea. Like I said, didn't cover it probably how you wanted to, or you'd probably love to see a you know, first ride video. Uh, not gonna happen for now. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe, if I ever move to a bigger area and I'm a big enough YouTuber. But for now, like I said, I'm just gonna enjoy the channel for what it is, occasional uploads, and uh, I do wanna do some more 954 specific stuff. I just gotta uh, collect my thoughts now that everything is going, minus the rattle that I had to figure out. Now that everything's kosher again, I'll try to get back into some of the 954 specific stuff. I know that's what people really seem to enjoy about the channel. Uh, the computer build, I officially have the power supply, the processor, and my hard drive. So if you're not following me on Facebook, I mean, you can do that, uh, facebook.com forward slash the real RR demon. Once I finally gather everything I need to build the thing, I'll put a, uh, just a quick build on it. For those that aren't as computer literate, I'll explain what a little bit of everything does. The initial build is going to be without the video card. I basically need motherboard, RAM, case, CPU cooler, and maybe a couple fans. And that's pretty much all I need to actually assemble it. So I have a lot of the biggest parts out of the way. The motherboard and the RAM are, are the most expensive things that I need besides the video card. So that's why it's going to be a little bit later on that I, I put the video card in, just save up some money and, and buy one I want. I'm pretty sure I'm doing the GTX 1050 Ti sub $200 card is going to do everything I needed to do. I don't game anymore. It is literally going to be for like freaking surfing porn and and editing videos. So for what I do, it's going to be fantastic. But uh, that, I mean, I guess that's, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Uh, like I said, I'll, I'll keep you guys up to date with the computer build. I'm actually going to go home right now and order the case. Like I said, I'll drag up some more 954 specific ideas. And uh, we'll, we'll kind of see if I can't get some more of the videos everybody seems to really love. So y'all be safe, and I will see you in the next video.